Time to unload Ryan Girdler well, from something in the world of sport. Take it away. I kind of understand last week the, the first origin was down in Adelaide, so they took it away from the people, so to speak. And on Tuesday was the Melbourne Cup. On Wednesday was the election. And, and Peter Valani just spoke about, you know, the ratings not being where they were. Queensland probably went in as, as great underdogs and they probably took a little bit of interest away, but I just don't know. that they're, they're just For mine, there's just not enough dislike between these two teams, Liam. Mm. I mean, in the past, you've got Gallon and Miles. You've got those personal clashes. You've got Bella and Harrigan. You've got guys like Benny Elias who can't walk the streets of Queensland. You've got Wally Lewis and Cam Smith that come down here and just absolutely cop it from the, from the fans. There's just nothing. There's been no barbs thrown between either camp. There's too many nice guys uh, in both teams to the point where it's going to be hard for New South Wales fans and they need to find a way on Wednesday night to give it to Queensland. I don't know who they're going to give it to because, you know, you take away some of those some of those legends of origin like Lewis and Smith and Miles and Maguire and Hodges and Tate and Slater. They were just easy guys. Very for our, hateable. For our, for our fans to dislike. Well, how do you how do you dislike Papali? How do you dislike Munster and Brimson and 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 some of these uh, and Big Tino for Sul Malawi? I mean, what's to dislike about these guys? They, they just haven't been in in the in the game long enough to create that sort of um, yeah. relationship with the fans. And I remember at points when there was such a dislike between the New South Wales team and the Queensland team that when they went into camp, they for, for the Australian side, they used to sit at different tables and wouldn't mix until Mal Meninga had to get them all back together. So you can imagine how much they actually enjoyed playing against each other yes. and struggled to come together. So I think we've just got to go through this period of this, you know, a lot of young guys coming into the system, obviously, especially for Queensland, and they need to build up, um, you know, these relationships mm. with, against uh, some of the uh, New South Wales guys so that we get the dislike back in origin. There's not even that much, I and mean, if you put myself in the Queensland shoes for a moment, there's not even that much to dislike about the New South Wales side. I mean, Damien Cook's one of the all-time greats. Daniel Saifidi, as you say, he's young, Payne Haas. Uh, Angus Crichton, Tyson Brazil, Jake Trebo that's a pretty likable pack. Very likable. Too likable. The most hateable thing about this Queensland side, mm. some would say, is Wayne Bennett. And even Wayne... Oh, he's played it beautifully, hasn't he? Listen to him speaking to the media this morning. What about the fact that uh, some Sydney journalists have said that this side's the worst side in the history of the origin 40 years? Like, I mean, you must be offended by that. Do they drug test journalists? <laughs> Why well, you think they should? Well, I think they should. That's the case if he's making that type of statement. But that's a genuinely well, funny joke. He's stoking the fire. I mean, Wayne Bennett, he knows what Origin's all about, and he knows that this has been a very passive couple of weeks. And you know what? It, it probably Wayne will be doing whatever's in the best interest of his team. That, for sure, we do know. So no one's stuck their head up at the moment, have they? No one's come out. Gallon no. in the past has said Queenslanders have two heads, I think. Was it Big Mace that came out and said yeah, that they're nut, rednecks? Nutbags and rednecks. Ricky's great, always been great at, at stirring the pot. But this year, zip, nothing. Let's get Wendell on the phone. See if we can get him to say something silly. I don't know.